In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to animate any logo with Affinity Photo and Final Cut Pro. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Tutorial. <laughs> All right, the first thing that you want to do is choose the logo. So for this example, I'm going to be using this logo by H&M. The first step would be to isolate the image and turn it into a PNG. Now, ideally, I would have an, a higher quality version of this logo, but we're working with what we have at the moment. Okay, now, once you have Affinity Photo open and you have your logo in here, you wanna go ahead and zoom in because we're getting ready to cut this out. So go ahead and press W for your selection tool, as you can see right here. And then go ahead and start selecting this red. And it does a pretty good job if you just select it. Boom, boom, boom click and since the red pops off of the white really easily this will be a breeze you can also do this if you have a Mac if you go to quick actions if you right click quick actions remove background it can do that for you then hit refine apply and mask it out hit deselect so we can see which one actually did a better job so we have logo number one and logo number two they honestly look pretty similar i may be biased but i like this one better because it took more work now we're gonna go even further and we're gonna slice out the m the and and the h and, and you'll see why at the end all right so now we have the logo out and you can use it how it is right now but we're gonna go even further and make this the best it can be now you just repeat the process doing it for each letter. This part is a little bit tedious, but it's worth it in the end. Now that you have all of these exported, you're we're gonna go in and close out Affinity Photo and move into Final Cut Pro. All right, now that you have all of your logos in there, you have these to size. We're gonna change this color to boom. Since this is such a grainy logo, we're gonna make it small. So it ends up looking good. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to stretch this guy. We're gonna stretch this guy to be the main, main thing we got going on. This logo right here, this is gonna help us match up the other logos. And you'll see why I have them all separate to begin with. To start out, let's start with matching up the and. So I'm gonna press V on these clips to disable them. I'm gonna line up this end with the other end. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in, adjust until it's just, it's just right. And you don't have to get it exactly perfect, but that's close enough. Here we go, we can go ahead and disable that one. We know the and is good. Now we're gonna go ahead and adjust the H. Boom, boom, make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Let's go ahead and disable the H. Now to the M, just so it fits. Boom. Right there. So now you can't really tell that too big of a difference. And it probably could come over to the left a little more. Boom, I'm happy with that. Now we can disable this one. And if we re-enable all these, go back to fit, boom. Now we have everything isolated. And now we have control. Yes! Okay. Now we get to have fun. And the best part about this is you don't have to spend any extra money. If you have Final Cut Pro and Affinity Photo, you can make something cool. And that's what I like about making these tutorials. All right, I have this plugin from Motion VFX. Yes, it was free. Uh, I'll put the link down in the description so you can find that. But Motion VFX was so generous to give us M Behavior Basic for free. And what this does, it gives you animations that you can put on top of your text to make it come in like that. Boom. And you can make it shorter. And you have a bunch of different effects, like you can make a dart, dart in. Boom. But I honestly keep them pretty short. That way they look just like that. But as you can tell, whenever you add, a, add an effect, this is very important. Whenever you add an effect, it affects this layer down here too. And we don't really want, we, what we're going to do is select the effect that you want plus one of the letters. Let's say I want the and to do that. Create a new compound clip. Boom. So now, see how it just affects the and? Now we're getting somewhere. 
Then you just repeat the process for each layer. And there you go. That's how to animate a logo within Final Cut Pro. And here's another bonus one that I love to do with logos. Say if you're making a product video or any kind of video and you want the logo to kind of come in a cool way. You want the logo to kind of flicker in and you can add like a light bulb effect. That's one of my favorite ones to do. So we can go ahead and cut there, cut there. You just go every frame and cut, every frame and cut. And that's usually enough. You don't want to do it too much. Sometimes I end up doing it too much and it ends up not looking good. We've all been there. Come on, guys. All right, and then you can play it from here. And it's just like beautiful. All right, that is it for this tutorial. I hope this tutorial has helped. Um, if you like Affinity Photo and Final Cut Pro, and if you want to learn more and see more tutorials, then comment down below and consider subscribing if you like these kind of videos. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.